Hey, what's up everybody? It's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and today we're going to be going over how to stutter vocals in Studio One. What's going on everybody? It's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Today I have a subscriber request from Mr. Karma. He wanted to know how to go about stuttering rap vocals without any type of um any type of effect tricks or uh, stutter edit or anything like that. And actually, dude, you're in luck because when it comes to stuttering vocals, it's th the easiest shit and you're gonna love it. Um and I'm sure other people on the site can benefit from this as well. It's a very popular effect. Uh, you hear it all the time in, um, you know, in, in pop songs and in rap songs. And the reason why why this shit started to pick up is because um, the way a lot of guys rap now is like in this song right here you'll see they they leave space um the reason why you didn't hear stuff like this in the early 2000s or even the 90s is because the the way people would rap um back on those records like like a Nas or a Jay-Z like they were really they were really filling in all spaces in the beat um the way that more of the trap rappers and, and like swag rappers rap now is you know they a lot of them are freestyling bar by bar and they're just kind of they're just kind of you know they're just kind of swagging out the song so um they'll they'll stop after this you know after the fourth beat and just leave a pause and um you know different engineers figured out hey you know it'd be dope if i stutter the next word you know do a little glitch effect so that's the all of that is to say the first thing that you want to do if, if you think you want to stutter something is you want to make sure that there's actually room for that okay you don't just want to go uh, like i wouldn't want to put a stutter over this word here because you know this th this guy's rapping over this whole part so you, you're not really going to feel the impact of the stutter so i'm going to look i'm going to look and i'm going to listen for an area that has an opening okay so i see i have an opening right here so i'm going to do is i'm going to switch to my slice tool and i'm gonna i'm gonna cut out this first word and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna treat you know um the uh i'm just gonna treat like these audio regions like like notes on the piano roll man so here bitch we'll bring this back to right here we set, you know, we'll set our quantize up for 16th notes. So I see I have two 16th notes right here that I could drop a stutter, right? Hold down Alt, drag it. And then, I mean, dude, you just listen to what you got. Stutter effect. Um, you could take it uh, a step further. Click this right here. This will bring your um, automation envelopes up. Whenever I do stutters, um, one thing I always do so that it kind of exaggerates it is I'll just draw a little animation and send one to the right, send one to the left, bring the vocal back to the center, and we'll get that effect. Um, sometimes you want to add a little fade so you don't get... You don't get any clicks. Talking about no hizzle. I, I, I was talking money, man. You hating on my fizzle. my lyric. You know, if you wanted to make it more exaggerated, just change the resolution, you know, and um, turn it into 32 notes. And just think about, you know, think about these blocks like they're MIDI notes, like you're like you're doing a snare roll. You know what I mean? It's the same you know, it's this it's the same theory here. You know, or you wanna do wanna do one of these guys. I, I, I was talking money, man, you hating on my fizzle. my lyric by no I, I, I was talking but really, the easiest and what and what usually sounds the best, uh, stick to like sixteens and eights. 
typically works out pretty good. I, I, I was talking money, man, you hating on my fizzle. And my lyric content, girl, we ain't talking about no hizzle. I, I, I was talking... And then, see, I see this open section here. So let me go ahead and listen. Go with Blanco and Dorado. Damn, Poppy, why you looking at the people? So you can do like a tit tit damn, Poppy, why you looking at the people? You just take this. Right. Bring your slice tool up. From Blanco with Blanco and Dorado. Damn, 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 Poppy, why you looking at the people? Deep below, got a couple things. You know, if you want to like, like how you would do a, uh, change the velocity on a, uh, on like a snare or something, you could, you could just change the volume of this. So you have a, you know, you have a variation and then come over here and do your pans that way. That way you have something that seems a little less static. It moves a little bit more. It's going to help your mix move and it's going to bring life to the track. With Blanco and Dorado. Damn, damn, Poppy, why you looking at the people? Deep Blanco and Dorado. Damn, damn, Poppy, why you looking at the people? Deep Blanco, got a couple things worth some C-notes. Heard you about your money. And that's it, man. It's really simple. It's, uh, it's quick to do. So that's the end of the tutorial. Happy New Year, everybody. I hope this helped you out. And you can add stutters to all your tracks. Now, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio One Tutorials. Keep it simple and don't be basic.